What is going on everyone? It is Tyler the Bodybuilding Foodie here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and today is a really cool thing because I am at Bombay Chopsticks which is an Indo-Chinese restaurant. Now, me personally, I've never had Indo-Chinese food but I have heard so many good things about it and I am ready to delve into this that is just completely foreign to me. So, can't wait for the food to arrive. Super excited and I'll see you guys when the food gets here. So, first course is arrived. We got the shrimp lettuce wraps. Look at this. This might even be the thumbnail. But yeah, this platter is huge. We got a whole bunch of iceberg lettuce. And, you know, I think I'm gonna make this a pescatarian meal if I can. We'll see about it. We got some shrimp mix in it. Add a little bit of some. I have no idea what these sauces are gonna taste like, but let's find out. A little bit of a kick. Now, the orange sauce here is spicy mayo, while the red sauce is more of a chili. And wow, yeah, it, it has a good spiciness to it. Let me go into another one. Oh yeah. Got a little bit. Some shrimp. Wrap it up. I'll tell you guys, I love shrimp. And I love less wraps. And I also love spicy food. So all these combined, it's just like a perfect thing, man. Next thing we got is the fish in Hakka style, and wow, this smells absolutely amazing. But look at that. I almost spilled all this, that would have been really bad. Feast your eyes on that. Man, I need to try this. So, we got a little platter of fish. Time to get into this. Let's try these sauteed onions. Oh yeah. Here we have the battered fish. Wow, that is really, really good. It's less spicy than I thought it would be. And even less flavorful. I think the subtlety really adds to it rather than just having like a super spicy and super tangy like fish. I think that's really good. Wow. All right guys, the main course has arrived. We went with the Eggplant Singapore. Look at that. This thing looks insane. It's like a boat of deliciousness. And this looks and smells a lot like General Tso chicken. However, this is eggplant. There's no meat in this. It's a completely vegetarian dish. And I'm, I'm pumped to try it out. And of course, it also comes with a healthy serving of looks to be jasmine rice. I was expecting basmati, but I think this is regular jasmine rice, which I'm completely down with. I like my jasmine rice. Yeah, guys. Time to get into this eggplant Singapore. Look at that. Ooh, super pumped for this. Wow. It's definitely not sweet, and the eggplant is very, very soft. Like, it almost tastes like these are hollow. Which, I guess, it could be a plus. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, the chicken tastes a lot better. I can tell if I got this with chicken, it'll be a lot better. As far as the flavor goes, it is, it smacks. Like, it's really good. Um, so, it's definitely not as sweet as General So Chicken, but it is very, it's pretty spicy. <laughs> Of course, to cool 
going down the heat. We got fresh young coconut. My favorite, my all-time favorite drink, nature's Gatorade. Love it. Ooh, that hits the spot. So I'm gonna take a bite of this just to see what's in the milk. Cause I'm curious to really see how it's prepared inside. All right, this is a big enough piece. As you can see inside, it's pure eggplant. It's, and it, the, what makes it different for me is that it really, it's super soft. Like, I guess when you fry the eggplant, it causes it to like lose a sense of consistency. I mean, what what do you kind of expect? Like, you are getting a lot less calories and a lot less protein from this. However, I think it's it's passable. It's definitely a very unique thing. I never thought I would ever eat fried eggplant. Try with rice. Oh yeah, definitely good. The last thing I got, so. This is another vegetarian dish. This is the Gobi Manchurian, otherwise known as cauliflower. Yep, this is cauliflower. And the Manchurian sauce is a soy sauce, is a soy based sauce. Um, it's supposed to be reminiscent to General So chicken as well. And of course, you know, you know me, I love that kind of flavor, so. Any, if I find any ethnic variation of general so chicken, orange chicken, all that, you best believe I'm gonna get on top of that. So, let's take a bite out of this. That, ooh. A much tougher consistency than the eggplant, definitely. It's much more reminiscent of meat. Of course. No meat in this. Wow, I gotta say, like, in judging my favorite meal, my favorite dish that I had today, um, I'm gonna say first place goes to the lettuce wrap. Yeah, the shrimp lettuce wrap was bomb. Like, I don't know what they put in there, but it was, it definitely, to me, it tasted so good. It was refreshing from the lettuce um, while also being sweet from spicy mayo, as well as having a bit of a kick from the peppers that were surrounded by the shrimp. In second place goes to the cauliflower Manchurian, or the Gobi Manchurian. That thing was bomb, I'm about, to, I'm about to smack that right now. And then third place, I would say, is the very, very nicely present, presented eggplant Singapore. And last goes to the Hakusawa fish, which isn't bad, like it still tasted amazing. But yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different going to eating at like a nicer restaurant than usual. This is definitely a little more expensive than um, the other stuff I usually eat. But I hope you guys enjoyed this food. Uh, you learned a little bit about ethnic cuisines and natural, geographically natural fusion cuisines, such as Indo-Chinese food. But yeah guys, please leave a like down below, subscribe, Hit the bell notification to get these videos right to you, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.